85 days into Russia's wider war on Ukraine, the Kremlin's aims have shrunk to miles and towns. If there's an overarching strategic goal in Moscow right now, it's to surround and destroy the handful of Ukrainian brigades around Severodonetsk, a city with a pre-war population of 100, 000 in eastern Ukraine's Donbas region. Compare that to Russia's initial goals, to occupy Kyiv, decapitate the Ukrainian government, capture all of Donbas and Ukraine's Black Sea coast and destroy the Ukrainian armed forces. Three months ago, Moscow planned to smash Ukraine into a leaderless, landlocked and unarmed rump state. Now, Russian leaders might settle for slightly expanding their control in Donbas and possibly eliminating a few Ukrainian brigades. Even that isn't going well for the Russians. In the last week, Russian forces have captured a few hamlets around Severodonetsk. But the town of Lyman, which anchors Ukrainian defenses 25 miles west of Severodonetsk, still is under Kyiv's control. At the same time, the Russians haven't advanced very far beyond Bopozna, a town 20 miles south of Severodonetsk that fell to the invaders on May 7. Russian forces intensified shelling and conducted unsuccessful offensive operations near Popozna in preparation for the Battle of Severodonetsk, the Washington, D.C. based Institute for the Study of War noted Wednesday. The U.S. Defense Department is equally unimpressed. I think as you look at the fighting in the Donbas in particular and I mean not just over the last 24 hours but over the last days and even more than a week or so, I mean, you're starting to see Russian offensive operations become smaller in their size and scale and you're seeing their objectives pico. So it's just sort of a shrinking of their objectives and their goals. Russia's heavy losses, tens of thousands of troops and thousands of vehicles, help to explain the diminishing aims. With shallow manpower reserves and an arms industry struggling from foreign sanctions, Russia cannot easily restore damaged units or stand up new ones. The Russian army began the current campaign with around 125 battalion tactical groups. Today it has just 106 BTGs, according to the latest Pentagon assessment. 